smell, I smell gumpla. Wow, what a beauty. So this is the high grade origin MSD GM Guard Custom. So this is a, uh, a pretty exquisite looking suit. Not many mobile suits actually have such a distinguished shield. It's much large, almost as tall as the mobile suit itself, if not larger. Uh, but yeah, very beautiful, very sleek. So uh, let's take a look at the box. The box art in general is very beautiful. It has a lot of nice scenic background with a lot of action going on. This is also from the Origin MSD Mobile Suit Discovery line. And as you can see here on the side, it is going to have the beam spray gun as well as the guardian shield. So once again, very large shield and you're going to see it's going to have a lot of marking stickers right there on the shield as well as the body itself. And over here you're going to have the beam daggers. I actually really enjoy the daggers because you don't see that in many of these mobile suits. And looking over here, you're going to see all the different gimmicks. So basically what they mean by gimmicks is just over the top articulation. And that is exactly what the Origin line is best known for. The head is also going to be able to slide down a visor, which I'm assuming is going to be more of a, an enhanced scope. And of course you're going to have the marking stickers, which for some reason has 69. And you're going to have a front and rear shot of it. With some information right here, and if you want to just pause this and read it, you are more than welcome to. And lastly, some more information on the Mobile Suit Discovery story. And the first runner that is up is going to be runner A. So you are going to have the shield part right there, parts for the head, you're going to have parts of the arm right here, as well as parts for the waist and a little bit of the uh, chest. But all beautiful, layered with some good detail and just all pure white. And runners B1 and B2, they are going to have some more white parts, which is going to be mainly for the leg. You got more parts for the waist and a little bit for the arm. But regardless, these are going to have some great detail in it, which is going to provide you some good opportunities for panel lining. And if you look over here on runner C, runner C is going to have a lot of parts for the inner frame. You're going to have some of those beautifully detailed hands right there. And if you come further down, you are going to have like the beam pistol right down there. And now looking at runner D, runner D is going to have parts for the foot. Then you're working your way up here to the shield. You're going to have parts for the head further up. And then over here, parts for the body as well as parts for the ankle. And runner E is going to be more parts for the armor, just all white and you're going to have two of these runners. And runner F1 and runner F2 is going to be just a little bit more of the inner frame, but it is going to have parts for the backpack as you can see right there, and then just some parts for the chest, but nothing really too drastic. Uh, I will say that some of these parts are looking really good, especially this one for the actual knee. And runner H1, H2, H1 is going to be the green visor for the head and then runner H2 is going to be the beam dagger effect parts. And of course you're going to get a poly cap sheet. Not the large sticker sheet but nonetheless it is going to be a bunch of stickers that you can easily color in so if you do have the necessary paints go ahead bust them out and then paint over. And here is going to be your marking sheet. So basically a bunch of stickers. It, they are okay from uh, my past experiences with the Origin line. Uh, but I would say if you really want it to look good, you might have to go ahead and get some uh, third party water slides. And lastly, you are all going to have a manual. So that way you know exactly how to put it together. Well, my fellow hunters, so this is looking like a very solid mobile suit to build. So I still have to continue my search for Crow, but when I do find him, I know that he's going to be able to build this to the best of his abilities and provide all of you with a very solid review. So that's all for me, guys. I'm going to go out there and continue hunting and searching. But like always, go out there and hunt your Gumpla.